I have 32 photos in my hands, but there can only be one. Best dress Oscars winner. Stay tuned. <music> Hey queens, welcome back to my channel. As you all know, I am Queen Sanaya. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, of course you read the title, so you know we are judging these Oscars outfits. Um, I did not watch it the first day it came out because I do not watch TV at all, but I do love fashion. As you know, this is a fashion, food, and fun channel. Beauty! Um, <laughs> So we are definitely going to get into the fashion. I have so many um, different people that I want to talk about. And of course, if you have your own opinion that's good, make sure you don't keep it nasty in the comments because I get nasty back. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, let's get into it. So the first person that we have here is Cynthia Erivo. She wore a machino. Um, this is for the Oscars after party. Now, I will be reviewing some after party looks that kind of stood out to me just because. So, I want to just view this. Um, it's obvious that she has a... Okay, let's rewind. <laughs> My opinion is solely based off of the type of individual that the person is. Um, you could kind of tell a person's style based off of their personality, the way they carry themselves, their haircut, their their overall being. So um, if a person is known to be different, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, I hate this because I know that they are a different person. I love Erica Ba's style based off of who she is as a person. So I'm not going to be like, oh my God, why would she wear all those rings and that nose ring and the... I understand. I understand what you're going for. But if you are a person that do, do not, like, you don't have a style, you don't understand your style at all, you don't know what's going on, and your style is just put anything on you, then I am worried. With that being said, let's get into it. <laughs> so, yeah, the first person we have here is Cynthia Erivo. I hope I'm saying her last name right. She wore a Machino um, dress. And um, if this is at the Oscars after party. I'm not reviewing all Oscars outfits. I'm reviewing after party looks as well. And it was styled by Jason Bolden. Um, you can tell like she's a beautiful and very um, different girl. Um, she just looks like she dresses in like a rock type of style i could be wrong because i've never seen her before but this dress i don't care for it um i could see this dress on somebody else and it could be possibly making a statement but since like i love white chicks and um one of those outfits had like that bird on it i think it was a flamingo i'm not sure we're going to check the picture but that's what it's giving i don't like the dress at all it's not flattering um it's definitely different don't get me wrong it's different you know you don't, you want to make a statement it's the difference between making a statement and not understanding the assignment um i, I don't like the dress at all sorry love the shoes though the shoes are cute they're simple um if you want to wear like um a shoe with the strap like that i wouldn't necessarily wear an anklet i just i don't feel like this outfit was thought out so next up we have my girl zendaya and i'm not a biased person i will literally tell you if a person that i love is not just well to me or my opinion about them but zendaya is my girl not only is she a beautiful person she's beautiful inside her fashion is beautiful and she's a good actress as well so <laughs> getting back to this look this bright yellow color that i've been loving this summer like i love yellow this summer i have nothing in my closet that's yellow but best believe i'm going to give me a yellow piece because 
the way it's just popping on everyone's skin is just like crazy um law roach did his thing he always does his thing with zendaya he always gets it he's a person that gets it in my book um it's effortless her hair is just flowing it's free it's not it's not too straight it's not too upkept it's like very much just going with the flow it's effortless beauty and she did that i like the little cut i like the I like how long the dress is. I like how it falls on her body. It's just beautiful. Love that. Next up is going to be her. And like I said, um, I understand different people and, you know, the way that they carry themselves. They don't like to be like the norm. But this outfit is not it. I don't like this outfit. Um, they said it was inspired by Prince like one of his purple rain outfits i believe he wore like a all purple with the hood i think i'll put up a picture but i don't like this like it's nothing that i like about it it's not giving um yeah it's just i i'm like lost for words i really don't even know what to say about it it's just like literally there like it's like so much it's like she has on so much like that when a person walks by they should be like oh my god look but they would just literally keep walking by i don't know what it is i think it's the color it's the overall design it's the glasses like i know she likes to wear glasses but the glasses literally did nothing for me in this outfit the hair was nice but like and then the lipstick like, why would you do that lipstick with this color dress? It just, it, it wasn't given for me. Like, I, her style, the way that I imagine her style to be is how, like, Janelle Monae's style is. Like, it's very different. It doesn't, you know, fit in the box. And I'm, like, just so for people who make a statement, um, especially these type of occasions. Like, this is the Oscars, but, like, this print, it's just not given. I, it's like a sequence mesh look. I don't understand the jewelry. I, did, I just don't like it. I hate it all the way. And I can't lie about it. Anyway, the next person I'm going to be talking about is Angela Bassett. <laughs> I love me some Angela Bassett. First of all, it's not because she's a Leo like me. Maybe it is a little bit. But like she's just a graceful woman. So classy, so confident so beautiful this dress was just so beautiful on her like this style reminds me of that photo shoot with naomi campbell it was so graceful it was so beautiful it was so black ass it was so black ass this is what the fuck i'm talking about god that's what i'm talking about it was so black ass it was black ass so next we are going to get into, I think her name is Moraine Fim. Her name is Moraine Fim and she wore CD green. Um, I don't like this dress at all. I don't like it with the hair. I don't like um, the bejeweled top, like this piece up here. I can't see her neck. I can't see her shoulders really. Um, the dress is not formed to fit her shape. Um, even when I zoom into her nails, why would you paint her nose red? This like is just not giving me anything. I don't like it at all. I don't know what they were thinking. This is the Oscars. You got to come with it. I don't like that. Um, now, we are going to get into Simone Ledward Bosman. She wore... Atelier Versace um, while she honored her late husband Chadwick Bosman rest in peace to him this is very stunning it's a beautiful color this color is so beautiful on brown tones like well it's a beautiful color on a lot of different color women but this particular color on her is stunning I love when brown women wear peach is giving me everything that it needs to give 
Um, I love the gold in it. I love how it flows. She looks very graceful. She looks very classy. I wish they would have put gold rings on her instead of silver. Um, I know that we can mix silver and gold together, but it still bothers me a little. Um, an updo would have sufficed, but the bob is definitely cute as well. Um, now we're gonna get into the solid pairing. I'm rooting for everybody black, of course. Duh. I, I love rooting for Tyler Perry, but this outfit is just... I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Like, I know, you know, a lot of people, they get money and they think, you know, they stress that they don't care about fashion. They don't care about money they just care about putting into the community they care about you know other things but when it comes to like the oscars of course you're going to get on the, the carpet and you're going to like you know stretch your stuff like how can you stretch your stuff and stuff that can be strutted it's just not given i don't I, is it the shirt i think it might be the shirt um, it's the shirt, it's the pants, and it's the bow tie. The material of the shirt and the material of the pants just don't go with this velvet. Um, he looks happy, though. I, I don't like the shoes with it either. It's just nothing really goes. Yeah. Reese Witherspoon, this is my girl. It looks frumpy. And then the belt, I don't know why the belt was placed there. And then the jewelry, it just doesn't go. The makeup looked like it had low effort. They didn't really fill her brows in. Like her eyeshadow literally looks like she slept in it. I'm so upset because this is really my girl. I don't like it. I hate it. I hate it. Um, Now we're going to get to a Laura Dern. She has on like this feather outfit um it's like i hate it and love it at the same time um if you're gonna wear such an extravagant outfit i feel like you should definitely wear an updo because it's already a lot going on at the bottom you don't want something going on at the top so i would definitely say a bun it's like i like it but then it's also something clashing with me i don't know if it's because it's just like black sleek and then going to white and pop i don't know I don't know what it is, but it's something. I don't like it. But it's Oscar de la Renta as well. And I love that designer. I really do. But it's either a hit or a miss. It doesn't matter the designer or how much you pay for it. It matters that it's cute. It's stunning. It's beautiful. It's classy. I, it's not giving me what it needs to give. So next, we're going to get into my girl, Holly Berry. Holly Berry, Holly Berry. <laughs> That's my girl because she's a Leo as well, and I just love her. She's just so awesome. Holly Berry, Holly Berry, Holly Berry. <laughs> That's my girl because she's a Leo as well, and I just love her. She's just so awesome. Unfortunately, someone called me and messed up my recording on this part, but I'm going to place a picture of Holly Berry and tell you that I absolutely hated, hated, hated this look. She looked tired. The bangs were tired. I hated it. Let's get into Laverne Cox. Um, she wore Christian Seriano to the 2021 Oscars, and she was styled by Christina Jepashili. I hope I didn't say it wrong. Laverne. You look amazing. When I say amazing, the hair was on Beyonce B-Day album. B-Day album. The little bang. You know what I'm talking about. With a cute little bun. And the outfit was giving shoop, shoop, shoop. Is, <laughs> and the fact that it was hot pink, not a lot of girls could do that it's giving like and then the mesh and then the bottom and then the and then that material it looks like it's some type of um i don't know it's like poodle fur i don't know it looks amazing i love it 
she did that and then the little side boob action period now we're going to get into maria bakalova this is giving middle school uh dance that's what it's giving it's giving middle school dance this looks like a dress that i could find out of a mall um i'm sorry maybe she did but you honestly you can find no 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 this is custom louis vuitton so that's not i don't know that this is what i'm talking about it doesn't it doesn't matter who the designer is you can still look cheap in designer you can i don't like it it's not terrible though i'm not going to say it's terrible but it's just not oscars it's not giving and then the lipstick just looks i don't know I, I don't i just don't like it i can't i can't let's go to the next person oh my favorite girl it's my favorite no this is the worst girl <laughs> it's celeste she wore gucci to 2021 oscars what do you guys say i say that she was the worst dress and i really really hate to say it but it's just like i'm letting you guys know what my true feelings are and i'm spilling it out to you i don't mean to be mean but these this is what my feelings is saying i hate it i hate it i hate it is giving snow white holding her apple why would you put this red blush on her with this dark eye makeup and these straight brows with this red lipstick and <laughs> and she's holding a heart like that it's just giving character it's not giving oscars it's giving character showing up to a broadway performance that's what it's giving it's not giving oscars i don't know who styled her i hate it i hate it i hate it like it's a difference between trying to push the envelope and just looking weird you know it seems like her style is like kind of i don't know she just kind of reminds me of like a, a, i don't want to say that because no she doesn't i was about to say salon jaw and i don't want to say that because of her hair but it's literally just I don't know. I, I hate it. I hate the nails. I hate everything about it. Yeah, next. Now we're going to get into Daniel Kaluuya. Love him. But this Bottega Veneta suit. Men. Men. When it comes to fashion and when you want to wear a suit, make sure that your pants and your suit is fitted to your body. It looks completely different when a suit is fitted to a man's body it, it goes from boxy to and then the arms go it's just like ooh. you go from mm, to ooh. <laughs> and it, i don't like this suit uh, i don't like the necklace with this suit i don't like the shoes with the suit i hate the pants it looks frumpy with the suit like the outfit looks completely different on the model like literally did y'all mail did he pick the outfit online and then he got it and it was like this is what i got versus this is what i wanted type of thing that's what it's given because the model his suit looks like completely fitted and ironed and nice like and then this suit just looks uh, hmm. So now we're going to get into Lakeith Stanfield, which is also a Leo. Look at all these Leos on the Oscars. Period. Lakeith, um, am I saying it right? Stanfield? He showed up with like this 70s theme Saint Laurent look. And most people might think that it looks so different, but I think this is my opinion about the key fine self he is he just seems like he's like a different individual like he likes to push the envelope that's just him he doesn't care if y'all are going to say that that looks crazy or anything like that i in particular love this on lakeith i don't know why i feel like it just fits him so much some things just fit certain people you know 
it's just it's, it's a look on him i like it because he has long legs he has a slim body he dyed his hair like this golden color i love it on him and you know like the other people that i watch give like their reviews on his outfit they try to say something bad and then we're like mm. yeah because in your mind you really know that it looks good on him but you're just not used to seeing this type of outfit on a man he's giving so next we're going to get into glacial bouvets and she wore her tadashi so shoji um in her jenny deco earrings um to the oscars styled by tazbeck um i believe i watched a documentary on her i believe no i don't i don't want to put out the wrong information but i know that she's from somewhere let's look it up right now because i don't want to give out the wrong information she's definitely from somewhere so i believe that she was just showing her heritage so i don't um i i don't want to say something wrong let's just look her up really really quick jarcelle boobies honey she's haitian i knew it she's haitian mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she was born in haiti oh my god duh um her outfit is giving that much do i like it i do not um do i love her culture like where she's from i love it i love i love the haitian culture um i love jamaican culture i love african culture i love cuban culture i love i love every different culture but this was not oscar appropriate um it looks very different on the model um it doesn't lay well on her um Yeah, it just wasn't given. Just wasn't given. Um, look at Terrence J. He looks good. Eh? He looks good, y'all. Um, <laughs> Terrence J looks so good in this brown, black, and white outfit. It fits him. It's fitted. He wore his black socks correctly with these black dressy shoes um the bow tie it's giving it's just very it's flattering on him he looks good now we're going to get into carrie mulligan this is such a beautiful dress i love it and usually i can't really get into sequence i think it's because we had like this whole sequence phase in our young lives that we we were just like so obsessed with sequence in our day that like when I see anybody in sequence, I kind of think childish. But this dress, it's beautiful and I love the color on her. Um, what, I, what I will say is that I am not a fan of her makeup. Um, it, it does um, age her. Um, I don't feel like the lipstick was good on her. Um, I feel like that was kind of like a rush job, but um, the dress was so beautiful that I feel like it kind of distracts us from the top half. Um, it wasn't terrible though. We're going to get into Regina King. She looks stunning. She looks stunning. She looks stunning. I will say though that like if she wasn't so beautiful and her hair wasn't so beautiful, her makeup wasn't so beautiful, her poise wasn't so mm, Regina King stands like I'm that girl, you know? Um, this dress on anybody else would give very much costume, it would give like I don't know, it would definitely give something else, but on her it's very beautiful and I, I love this on her so you guys that kind of sums up how i feel about this oscars let me know in the comments below who you liked and who you did not like for me my favorite person was i want to say her name right because i've never seen her before um tiana thomas
Her look was just everything to me. It was beautifully made. She wore her braids proudly at the Oscars. I love that. I love the feathers at the end. It just, it just was effortlessly beautiful. Um, the second runner up would, would be definitely um, Zendaya, of course. Of course it would be Zendaya as the runner up because you know, she always starts, but um, I definitely feel like Tiana Thomas took the cake um she did it for me um the person who was worst dressed to me um the obvious celeste with that heart in her hand i absolutely hated that outfit throw it in the trash let's restart and act like we never seen it before girl because that it, it just wasn't it wasn't giving it to me and I'm somebody who understands all type of creativity I hated it anyway <laughs> y'all let me know your opinions below what was your favorite outfit of this year's Oscars awards um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be back with another.